guys, welcome back to another episode of Unteam Outdoorsman. And today we are officially back in the garage for the Ascend 133X build series. You guys, for over the last year, you guys have really seemed to love that build series. I uh, just want to say thank you for all the support we've gotten on it and all the views we've been getting on it. So a big thank you there. And today we are back. We are going to be doing some custom kayak matting to the boat. So this is a nice woodland camo style matting. And this is gonna replace pretty much all of the black matting that you see in this boat right now. So we got the two spots up here. We got these four areas right here, the two areas in the back. And then we do also have a goal to replace certain areas of this front section of the boat as well. So this is gonna be a pretty easy upgrade. Uh, definitely more of an aesthetic one as opposed to a functional one. Um, but we think it's definitely gonna be a nice addition to the boat and really make it my own. Um, so I think this is really gonna be an awesome upgrade to do. Uh, it really wasn't even too, too expensive either. So really anybody can do this. Um, it's going to be pretty easy, but we'll get started right now. Okay, guys. So the first thing that we're going to do before we start any of this is we're going to clean this up a little bit. So as you can very well see, this is very dirty um, just from the summer because we didn't clean it after the summer and, and all the winter. We got a ton of dirt and debris in here. Um, so we're going to do a really good cleaning of this. And then we're probably going to let it sit for a day or two so it can fully dry and make a really good surface to adhere the deck material to just so we're not gonna have any hiccups down the road um, or anything happen that happened like that. We're gonna have a nice clean surface for it to apply to. Um, so we're gonna get that started right now. Um, we'll get back to you. All right guys, so you just saw us clean this boat and it looks absolutely spotless now. Um, all we used was some just warm water and Dawn dish soap and a spray bottle some rags, a little elbow grease, and we got this thing looking good. There's no more uh, green, any algae, it's all clean. And now we're gonna strip this old matting off, that way we can clean all the glue underneath and get it so uh, it's perfect to lay the new stuff into it. So we'll see you when we do that. All right guys, so now we're removing the stock matting and all I'm using is just this razor blade. Uh, I'm just getting under the side of it and kind of lifting it up. And then I can just pull it up like we did this one and it pulls right out pretty easy as you saw up here. Um, so we're just taking that out now so we can clean up the surface. We can get the boat heated up a little bit. We can get the 3M Super 77 heated up a little bit. And when we adhere it to the boat, it should stick really nice. Okay guys, so now that Pete tore up all the original stuff that surprisingly came off pretty easily, um, I'm just gonna hit it again with some of our dish soap because if you can see inside of it, it gets super dirty, like right there. And then there's some loose adhesive. Um, I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some goo gone, probably tomorrow. Um, but after we do that, we're gonna let this sit for probably 24 to 48 hours in a warmer climate. So inside of here, won't be any rain or anything like that. So let it fully dry and warm up so we can get a proper adhesion of that 3M Super 77. Uh, spray adhesive and adhesive already on there um, just so there's no hiccups or anything like that later on and we get a nice strong bond um, that's probably better than this OEM stuff but we'll get to you when we're doing that okay guys it's officially two days later from the time that we last recorded that um, we let it fully dry fully sit for a couple days um, and now it's pretty much ready to have some adhesive put on it and some 3M Super 77 um, one thing that we're doing though is we're making sure that we're getting all the old residue from the old adhesive all this stuff we're going to make sure we get that off of the kayak so as you can see especially over here too we got some like extra adhesive it's all gooey stuff here that's not going to make it adhere right to the plastic um it's gonna it may work in the short term but long term it might start poking up a little bit um so one thing that we're doing is we're trying some different ways to get that stuff off easily um and the way that we think works best is using the 
blunt object like this. Nothing sharp, so it won't pierce the plastic. But something like this, it's just gonna cut in and it's gonna really get rid of that pretty easily. See how I'm just getting rid of it entirely? And then there was some tougher spots, like in that corner, this ate that right up. So super easy stuff here. Uh, it might take us a little bit of time to get it fully ready to have an adhesive put on it. Um, but we think going the extra mile like that is gonna pay off big time for us. Okay guys, now that we have everything dry, clean, ready to go, we are officially ready to start cutting out the pieces that we have to do for this matting right down here. Um, as you can see, we got a couple like heavier objects on it to kind of get out the fold in it. Um, so it can be a nice flat, even surface. What we're probably gonna do is we're gonna use this construction paper that we have here, this really big sheet, and we're going to cut it out according to the dimensions of this front section here, pretty much to, the, to those back two scupper holes. We're gonna cut out the right dimensions for this and we're gonna mark it onto our foam mat. And then we're gonna start this and we're gonna get going. Um, the rest of this stuff should be a lot easier because we can just trace out the existing parts with it, with a marker, and then just cut it to size. It'd be super easy. Um, this might take a little bit more time, um, but overall it will be kind of a tedious process, but I, I think it'll be worth it. All right guys, so now what we're doing is we have the stock pieces of foam mat and we laid this all the long way. And what I'm gonna do is just trace this on here. I just got this Expo marker. I'm gonna trace it on, give myself a nice line to cut out around and that way it should fit right back in the stock spots just as it came off of the boat. was a lot easier. All right guys, so as you saw, we just got done cutting out the last and final piece. Uh, here's another one that we just cut out before that. It came out really good and I started off with scissors. Honestly, if you're gonna do this, I recommend the razor blade. It cuts right through this stuff. Just put it on something you don't care about, like a table or something, and uh, cuts real smooth. Line it up, mark it, and uh, get it cut out like this. All right guys, so now we got this poster board paper here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out a template to fit the front and then we're gonna use this template to trace onto the foam. That way when we cut it out, it's gonna fit perfectly up there. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna look uh, factory almost. Um, but yeah, so all I did was just found the width of the piece I needed and I'm just gonna cut this out and I'm gonna go over there and kind of sketch a design on the boat that I think fits the boat perfectly and I'll transfer it to this transfer this to the foam and you'll see the whole process. Okay guys, so now that we got the main, the easy parts of this done, the easy parts, we're gonna get down to this main front deck area over here. So I did wanna add something over here uh, to make this a little bit more unique. So what we're doing is, as Pete said, we took a piece of poster board paper, a little bit thicker so we can work with it a little bit better. Um, we cut this out and we lined it up just like this. So you're gonna notice that there is gonna be a little bit of a lip going around this. And we did this so we can drain a little bit easier. And we lined it up perfectly so there'll be ways to run it so the water can run, just God forbid that happens. And then we have this piece right here, which is gonna go around the front scupper hole. We have this traced out and it's gonna line up almost exactly like that. So same thing, it's gonna have a little bit of a lip on all these parts so we can so the water can drain. And then we're gonna invert it. So we got it right and then left. So we're gonna flip it and do the exact same thing on the other side. And then what we're gonna do for this middle part here, we're gonna follow this normally, you know, following that same lip pattern that, that we're doing. Follow it all the way up. And then it's gonna split out a little bit, but it's not gonna meet this piece. There's gonna be a little bit of a gap so again, it'll drain out. This is gonna be what we're gonna go with. Um, so I would say the line is probably gonna go up to right at the end, the edge of my finger there. It's probably just enough so the water will run. 
but nothing more than that to where it's not like a noticeable gap and it doesn't look a little uh, messy. But that's what we're gonna go for. I'm gonna keep going with this right now. All right guys, so now I just actually cut this piece with our template. As you can see, it fits pretty good. Fits right around the scupper hole in the front, right around the scupper hole in the back here. Um, so now I just got this middle piece cut out. I made a template for that as well. And that's gonna sit right like this and it's gonna leave a little bit of gap here for these sides so the water will still drain through into these spots and go into the scuppers. But uh, I'm just gonna transfer this to the foam now and cut it out and we'll be back to you when we do that. All right, guys, so we got all the cutting done. Uh, that took us quite a bit of time, um, but we're finally done with it. So now we're gonna start the adhesion process. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna peel this back. If I can find a way to peel it back. Give me one second here, okay. I'm gonna peel this back. And this does have adhesive on it already. Um, the one thing I found though, is that it doesn't seem like it's gonna last long-term. Um, like, don't get me wrong, it's a strong adhesive, but in a couple of years, I don't think it's gonna be very good. To, to, be blunt. So this is 3M Super 770. You can get it at like most hardware stores. It's literally just a spray adhesive. Um, and this is going to help that out quite a bit. Um, it's really not hard. It smells really bad, but that's fine. So what I'm doing is just use a table that you don't care about and just Now it's like a fan. So we're good there. Probably hurry. I probably wouldn't take too, too long spraying. Then I'm gonna go over to our boat. And we're gonna line it up. And you do have a little bit of play while it, while it cures. So if you mess it up, you don't have to peel it off or anything. And then we're gonna get some weights to weigh it down. So we'll just use these bean bags. And we'll take the third one. Thank you, Pete. Then we'll be good. I'm probably gonna apply some pressure on this for a little while, because it does take like probably 30 seconds to a minute to cure properly. Um, and then we'll go from there. Um, but this is probably the better way to do it. This is a good long-term way to go about this, because this 3M Super 77 stuff is strong. Assuming it cures right, but it seems like it's going on perfectly fine. So not a huge deal. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let this sit for a minute. I'm going to apply some pressure to it and then we'll go on to the next one. Okay guys, so I've been doing this for probably an hour and a half now. Um, we've gotten about halfway through. Um, this is a very tedious process, surprisingly enough. Uh, the 3M Super 77 stuff does work, but at the time of recording this, it's the middle of January and it's really cold. We've had the heater going for a little while, um, but it's still not quite enough. This boat is still kind of cold. So it works, it just takes more time. Um, I got these two pretty much good. I'm going to probably follow up a little bit later and make sure. Um, this one, this one right here has given me a lot of hassle. Um, I've been putting some weight on it, trying to get it to fully like cure enough to where it doesn't need to have weight on it, but I'm not even there yet. And I sprayed that an hour and a half ago. I have re-sprayed it multiple times. Um, the other ones are doing okay, but they're still, you know, like I said, they're still tedious. Um, this is not like a bad thing. I'm not like saying the 3M Super 77 is bad or anything like that. It's just the, the conditions of outside, how cold it is. I think that's playing a factor a little bit here, but it's still perfectly doable. Like I said, it just may take a little bit more time. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let these four or these four or five pieces cure overnight, um, probably into the next day too. So I'll have a full 48 hours to cure. And then we'll just spend the whole last part of, last part of this, the last day, working on this back section here. So those two pieces there 
and those two pieces over there. Those are both easier pieces, so it should go pretty easily. But I'm gonna let this cure for probably 48 full hours, have some weight on it so it can fully dry. Um, and then we'll get back to you once we get to that point. All right, guys, so it's the next morning. And after a lot of trial and error with spraying that corner side over there, this is what we got going right now. So it is all fully cured. The 3M Super 77 is hardened. You can see there's a little bit of residue hanging out on the sides there. I'll have to clean that up later, but that is perfect. Everything lines up really good. So we're gonna continue going down the kayak here. Okay guys, as you can see, we're getting very close to the end. We already got these done. They're pretty much laid in, all ready to go. And then run to the last part now. You can see we have various items from around the garage that's holding it down. Uh, just so the 3M Super 77 doesn't start to bolt up and then create a gap. Um, this just holds it all down so we can dry easier and have pressure on it. So we're reaching the end here. This has been probably a two day process of making sure this, this is done right and fully dries and then we move on to the next part. Um, we're wrapping up. All right, guys, so we are gonna be out with the old and in with the new. As you can very well see, this looks incredible. Uh, it took quite a few days uh, letting all this fully cure and fully dry. I am really thrilled with the way this looks. It came out perfectly. We really took the extra time and did the measurements correctly and it paid off so much for us. Um, and I'm really excited for this coming year having this now. We are already starting our preparations for the 2023 fishing season. We got a lot planned for this year in terms of traveling and challenges for the fishing year. Um, we've already started preparations for that. We're going back. So the very few people who are here from the beginning remember a very special pond that we went to one of the summers. We're going to be returning to that pond. So that's going to be awesome. Um, and we will see you guys in the next video. We still have a ton planned for this kayak. A few more things for the start of the year we got to do. Um, and we got some big ones for the native coming as well very soon. Uh, so we'll see you guys soon. See you later.